Hi, this is Chris Skorlinski from the Microsoft SQL Server Escalation Services team, and this is another edition of REPL Talk. One of the problems we see is latency with the distribution agent. It's just not moving the rows down to the subscriber as fast as we would like. A common problem with this is that the distribution agent is set to replicate the commands as a single T-SQL statements instead of as batched stored procedure calls. For instance, we're going to insert into the customer table what we'd see executing on the subscriber is insert, then the table name, then all the data. That is executed at one each at an individual at a time. If instead we configure replication to distribute it as a stored procedure, we could take advantage of making those stored procedures be batched with a parameter list. The end result is we get much faster throughput moving down to the subscriber using as batched stored procedures as opposed to using individual SQL statements. So how do I know if I'm using them as individual SQL statements or if I'm using them as batched stored procedures? Well, one of the ways we can do that is we can go ahead and script out the publication and we can look for the status value. Let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to right click my publication. I'm going to select Generate Scripts and my Generate Script dialog, I'm going to say Generate Script to a new query window. Let me go ahead and close this screen. Now this is the script for my publication and I'm scrolling down here to the SP Add article. Take a look at it here. SP add article statement and I scroll over to the right until I get to the status column. Here we go, here's the status column. As you can see here for this table the status value is set to zero. If I'm set to zero I'm not doing them as stored procedures and I'm not able to batch them down to the subscriber. Let's go ahead and look at how we would take it and change that. Here's the command I can run on my publication. This command does not require a renit and can take effect immediately. Let's take a look at this command. The command is called sp underscore change article and I need to pass in the publication name and the article who doesn't, who doesn't have, has the value of zero for the status. And for the property at property at equal to quote status and at value is equal to quote parameters. Let me go ahead and unzoom that. Let me go ahead and run that statement. And I'm also going to check the sys articles table and I'll look here to see select name and status from sys articles. Let me go ahead and run that. And now I can see that the status value is set to 16. When it was set to 0 or 8, then I was using T-SQL statements and not able to batch them down the subscriber. When it's set to 16, then now I'm going to go ahead and set them as parameters and as a stored procedure and it will result in much faster throughput going down the subscriber.